Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Place Imperia and Galactic Survival. If you're wondering what Imperia is all about, very good question. Uh, let's think of, uh, I don't know, let's go with Starforge here, which, you know, might get a hot or cold reaction from a few of you. And let's bring space engineers into the mix of things, mash them together, marry them together, do whatever you want to do with them together. You kind of have Imperia and Galactic Survival. That's not to say that Imperia doesn't have its own um, basis to kind of make itself unique from those games. But, kind of like the easiest way to describe Imperium would be putting those two games together and actually making it work. Um, I'll talk more about the game as we go along here, so let's get into the game and show you what's happening in here. So, new game, Falcon's gonna be my, my game name, um, I guess it'll be Falcon Zero. Falcon Zero kind of works out pretty swell. We'll do the survival aspect, there is a creative mode, which gives you access to different type of planets off the bat. By the way, during survival mode, you can actually travel to these other planets as well. So, you're not just stuck in one planet. You could basically build a spaceship and zoof, right into the uh, atmosphere and go to other planets. Really, really cool. Uh, we'll be doing survival though for the premise of this video. Let's start game here. Be well prepared for the next adventure. So, this is kind of new. I don't think this actually happened before, but there was an update earlier today, which I do believe kind of um, added a few more hints and trips for beginners, which is actually pretty good, because initially the game would just jump you off here and be like, okay, have fun, and you're like, well, what do I do? So you'd have to go to the wiki and try to find things out. Uh, Falcon discovered a new source, iron deposit size of six, which is down over there. Good. Well, before we start off here, let's uh, go through my inventory. By the way, if you're wondering what's happening here, this right here is my escape pod. Uh, apparently, whatever ship we were on crash-landed, whether it's that ship all the way down there, it's really beyond me. But uh, this is our escape pod, and this is the way we landed on this planet. Let's uh, really quickly open this bad boy up. We want to grab everything in here, and let's see, what do you have? These are the plant stuff. This will be just so you can actually make your farm later on, but I don't really need that right now, so that can hold on. Over here's gonna be a fuel tank. We're gonna have to put some fuel in there to power up this vehicle, because this escape pod is gonna be basically your life vessel early on. Hit switch main power Y. Yeah, I got it, game. Don't worry, I read the wiki enough times to kind of figure out what to do early on here. This will be my oxygen tank. We'll have to put some oxygen in there, as you could probably imagine. That's what it's oxygen tank for. Uh, we want to open this bad boy up here. This will be fuel packs, our portable work light, oxygen bottle, oxygen generator, and a core. This will be really important, so you definitely want to pick these bad boys up early. And this will be a gun. We already have a gun equipped, so I guess this is like a backup. But we do need some ammunition for that. I guess we'll probably take the flashlight as well. You might as well put this flashlight over here. Pretty good. Drill charge. Yes, yeah, so we could kind of recharge our drill because it's going to be really important. Pretty much as you can imagine, it would be a lot of mining involved in this game. Big surprise, right? We'll take the purified water for stamina, and that's about it. Alrighty, so first things first, what we need to do right now is actually power up this vessel so it can actually um, create items for us immediately and also get some oxygen going on, right? So what we need to do right now is actually power this bad boy up. So let's go into the fuel tank. We will deposit, I don't know, maybe like three. I'll hold on to two because we'll need some of this for our oxygen generator, by the way. So this is going to be fueled. Now... You're not done yet. Make sure you come over here to the cockpit, get in here, and actually turn it on so your vehicle is up and running. Alright, so once it's up and running, we can come over here to our oxygen tank and be like, Hey, uh, I need to breathe because I'm going to otherwise die as a human in this, um, you know, strange exotic world. So how do you regain your oxygen? Well, look at our oxygen meter right now, right? It's a little bit depleted, not too much, but if I come over here... Boom. So all you have to do is just hang out next to that thing and it'll fill you up. Really easy. Really simplistic. I like it. It's not too convoluted. That's what something's really good about games sometimes. You know, don't make everything so convoluted. Alright, so this is going to be fueled up. Good. This right here is going to be where you start making some of your initial items. This will be your constructor. Um, essentially, what you want to do is actually get a base up and running, make a ground vehicle, make a spaceship vehicle. You know, I'm getting ahead of myself right now. But initially, we're going to need some bear essentials. And by bear essentials, I'm not talking about like, I'm a bear. I'm talking about just like like necessities to survive. How you construct stuff is you actually bring it into the inventory here, and then whatever you have over here available, assuming you have the required items up here in the templates, it will light up and be like, hey, you have the items required in the inventory to make this happen. So um, it's relatively simplistic in that regard, and I also like that too. Now, some of the things that I will um, complain about, and it's not even complain because it's a knock against the game, it's really not. It's the premise about making a video series on it where it there's a bit of grinding involved, which is, you know, not too far-fetched when you think of a Minecraft-ish type of game. Uh, but this is what I mean right now. It's one thing to go out and actually look for minerals, you know, which I'm going to have to do pretty soon. But there's also another waiting game involved when you have to create stuff. 
So for instance, right now we want to actually get a lot of fuel going on. So we'll need, let's see, for a fuel pack, it needs um, 10 Promethium pellets. Luckily in our escape pod we had 120. So all we're going to have to do for this is actually um, toss them down here so it's 10, right? We'll be able to make... Uh, Maybe 21, we're obviously not going to be able to make those, but, you know, um, I hit shift click and that actually uh, adds intervals of 10, or units of 10. So, obviously we're not going to make 21, at least I don't think we are. But, essentially what's happening right now is all the items that are getting made will be dumped into your inventory. Whenever it's done completed, you'll come over here, grab them from your inventory, and put them into your uh, inventory itself of your player. So, for instance, I'll grab this right now, I'll come back for the rest of these later. So, this is what I'm talking about. For a game where you're playing at your own volition, for your own enjoyment, this is not even a problem. But when you're doing like a little bit of a video series on it, this, along with having to mine a bunch of minerals, will indeed take up a lot of your video. <laughs> a lot of the majority of your video, unless you do like super cuts over and over and over. And by the way, super cuts, that's a plug for you guys, so maybe I get some free haircuts for the rest of my life, that'd be great. Anyway, that's all fine and dandy. What else do we need here, my friend? We also need uh, five metal components. Alrighty, so metal components are going to be where at? Metal pieces, I think it's this one here, right? Yeah. Iron ingot, cobalt ingot, we have all of them. Perfect. So, we need five of them, so boom, 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 boom. And since we're going to have all these items completed into our inventory, we could then just toss the assault rifle in here. That'll get made next. And we'll also need some bullets for it, obviously, or else we won't be able to shoot it. And we're just going to require five metal pieces and magnesium powder. We have the magnesium powder. We don't have metal pieces, so we should throw some metal pieces into our queue over here. Uh, metal pieces are going to be right here. So right now, we have a few things to do. Uh, iron deposits over there. Uh, we need to actually acquire more iron to make some more iron ingots, and iron is kind of like, you know, the basis of most of the things you'll be building early on in the game. And, let's see, that's where the ship is at, right? We have a Promethean deposit over there, which is going to be for our fuel, if I remember here correctly. So, if you've uh, watched any videos for this game so far on YouTube, you'll see everybody just about doing the same thing, and that's because the game stresses you to do it early on. Um, but it is to make your base, at least your very first base, near water, because what's going to be happening near water is that's where you're going to be getting some more oxygen going forward. So, for instance, let me go into my inventory right here really quickly. Oxygen generator, let's place you down over here. And we have fuel for you, we absolutely do. Generator, generator. <laughs> for the oxygen regenerator is to be placing this bad boy into water, so it actually starts, you know, pumping into water and, you know, doing its own little magical scientific nonsense. It's blinded me with science type of thing, right? So, uh, you could just hang out there, that's fine, doesn't really matter. Now, if we come over here and we uh, access this bad boy right now, it'll tell you, status off, obviously, so you, and the source quality is going to be 80%, so the higher percent, the more faster it'll actually produce oxygen for you. Most of the bodies of water around here that I've actually tested out off camera are usually 80%, so I'm not sure, entirely sure if there's a 100% body of water in this planet, but most of them have been 80% so far. So right now we're going to take some fuel and be like, bam, bam. As you can see, one of them was instantly used up, right? That was to turn it on. And you know what? This is going to have to be running for a while, right? So we'll do something like that. I'll hold on to these three here for now. And we should have some more fuel back in our little escape pod from the queue that we had going on right there, right? So we'll do this right now. So right now what's happening is going to tell you this will be on for 3 hours and 18 minutes and it's going to produce bottle a bottle in 94 seconds of oxygen, right? And that's going to keep going and going and going, producing over and over and over. So basically you leave it there, you forget about it, you come back later on and you pick up your, um, your fuel, your oxygen and you're ready to go. Really easy. Easy peasy, right? Now, let's go show you off a little bit of the mining process here. And after we do that, we might wrap it up and I'm going to go... What I want to show off is the combat and that's going to be next episode more than likely. We're going to be coming to that ship over there. Which I'm not sure if that's the one that um, you know you ricocheted your escape pod out of. Uh, there's a few of those around this planet, so uh, maybe it's just been here for a while. Maybe it's just some other derelict ship that actually flew here or at least crashed on here a long time ago. So we also found a copper deposit all the way up there. And you can definitely get up there. Now, speaking of villains and bad guys and creepy crawlies, there's going to be a lot of these. You might have seen a few of these wandering around. Some of them will be uh, passive. This guy is a relatively doofus-looking individual. Do -do -do, no problem here, Falcon, just walking around. So he's going to be fine. Nah, not a big deal for us. But there's going to be some aggressive dudes out here for sure, and they're going to want to kill us. And those are the ones we're going to want to kill back. 
Or I guess kill before they kill us. Not kill back. If they killed me and then I killed them, I don't think that's possible because I'd be dead already. But, you know, let's not even get into the science of that. Alrighty, so right now we have my drilly thing here, right? Drill flatten tool. It's gonna have 750 charges. This right here is gonna be my iron deposit, so look how easy this is. Ba ba ba, you know, just start flattening into the ground. We will start, you know, falling in here because obviously I'm flattening the ground. But what's happening here is that we're actually smashing down all the iron ore into little pieces that we're able to collect. Now, I think that after a while, if you start doing this for too long and not collect your pieces, they will actually despawn. So make sure you're actually grabbing them. And uh, make sure you don't get yourself stuck into the core of the earth here. So you might want to make yourself a little bit of a trench so you can kind of walk out of here. You have a jetpack, which we haven't talked about, and I will talk about that pretty soon. Just in case, you know, you get stuck down here with no trench, you can use your jetpack to ricochet out of here. But your jetpack does have a limit as well as to how high it will actually go. And speaking of which, let me actually pick up these items and um, follow on in my own words here about, Oh, you guys, by the way, they de spawn if you don't pick them up. You know, it'd be nice to actually follow up with my own wording here. What's our numbers looking like? 88. <sighs> Uh, again, this is the um, this is the reason why um, I'm making this a mini series, and I'm not sure how often this is gonna come out. If we're gonna make this a long series, I'm gonna play it by ear based on your support and you know the numbers, how they're looking on YouTube side, and uh, we'll play it by that. Because the reason why I, as I mentioned, am a little bit cautious about making it a dedicated long-term series is the fact there's gonna be a lot of grinding involved, and I already showed you the I already showed you the grinding involved when it comes to making the items and waiting for them to get done. But also doing this and taking that into account, it does take up a significant amount of time. So, um, again, it's not a knock in the game because, you know, there's no rush if you're playing the game on your own volition. But for the premise of a YouTube video, it can be a little bit annoying, especially if you're just sitting there just watching me do the same thing over and over. Let me turn my jetpack on so we can get out of here and not get stuck like I mentioned I would. Alrighty, so right now it's getting dark. It's going to start getting dark here in the video a little bit. I will try to, you know, pump up the gamma on post-editing so it's not too dark here, but what I could do here meanwhile is uh, put on this flashlight. <laughs> Obviously it's not going to do much for you, but it's something. At least we're able to see kind of clearly what's ahead of us right now. So after all the iron that we collected, we have 119. Uh, our food's still fine, oxygen's still fine, stamina can be an issue. Uh, stamina only recovers if you're standing still, so if you're running and you're, you know, it depletes and you start walking after you're running, it's not going to regain, so you kind of have to stop for a while, or, alternatively, you could actually drink some water and regain it that way as well. But sometimes they can slow you down as well, and it's kind of a bother, because early on, we're going to be doing a lot of running back and forth. There is no um, ground vehicles. You can make those, definitely, so you could actually traverse the planet easier. But um, we're not going to be focusing on that anytime soon. Let me get some more oxygen back into my lungs here. Excuse me, my friend. Oh, you know what happened here? I think my fuel ran out of here. Take a hit to the lung, dog. There you go. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, did I pick up my gun is my other question. No, I didn't. Alrighty. So let's come over here and pick up the items that I did make. And we might as well just drop all the iron ore into the inventory and turn them into iron ingots meanwhile we're doing something else. So, uh, it's going to be, what, five iron ore for one ingot? Actually, for 10 ingots. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So, 20... Uh, 20 and 22, if I had to imagine. So, let's see if my math's here correct. We could make 22 of these, and this will be 10 each time, so it'll be like 10 times 22. 220, assuming my math's correct here. Alrighty, so we'll get a lot of iron ingots, that's all fine. Let me pick up my assault rifle. We will also pick up... Oh, wait, I messed up. I made the middle pieces, but obviously we don't have the ammunition yet made. 10 of these easily from the magnesium powder, I would say, so let's just toss 10 in there. And we need 5 metal pieces as well. So, how many metal pieces do we have? We have 290. We went a little bit overboard with that, if uh, I would have to say. <laughs> quite a bit overboard. That's okay, though. Falcon's mat sometimes does fail them quite severely. Alrighty. Let's see, that's going to get over here done. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, let's rush back over to the oxygen thing, pick up some more bottles. Maybe run into some creepy crawly that we could actually show off. If not, we're going to wrap it up here. I'll let that actually finish up, you know, being built. I'll pick it up. Next episode, we come over to the uh, crash battleship over there and get into some combat and show you why it's kind of important to do it early on because um, there's one way to grab a bunch of items as we saw by getting a lot of iron ore early, going over there and crafting it. That's one way to do it. But this ship has a bunch of items that you could actually, I, I guess, skip over from having to build one at a time from here and just um, collecting them in full bounty in there. Of course, there is some danger involved, but 
You know, that's the name of the game, danger, right? Let's come over here really quickly and... That's a weird effect. Um, check out this. You yeah, still have some fuel on you. We'll toss a bit more fuel in here just to keep you running. And we have four tanks already ready to go. Thank you, my friend. Place that over here. And we might as well, while we're at it, take this uh, gun out of the way. We'll put the assault rifle here. Light should still hang out there for a bit longer. And I think that's all she wrote for now. What I'm going to do as well is let's show off before we wrap up this episode the little light feature here. Portable work light. Let's see. All right, so we'll just place this flashlight over here, and this will kind of be like a way for me to know that, hey, Falcon, your um, oxygen thing's over there, and that's a pretty cool effect, I gotta say. I kind of like it. Yeah. All right, so now I won't lose that oxygen in the dark. Sun's coming up, which is actually pretty... I actually, is it coming up? I'm not sure if it's coming up or not. Maybe it is, hopefully. Oh, we have seven hours, or in-game hours, before sun up. I getcha. It's 15 degrees Celsius as well. Alright, guys, so we're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot, especially for the start of new series. Again, as I mentioned, um, how often this video is going to, or this series is going to come up, how many episodes we're doing, I don't know yet. I'll play it by ear. I'll see what the response is from you guys for one, and number two, how the views are going, etc. And we'll base it off of that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.